Hello everybody, this is Carl from Carl Benson YouTube. Hope you're all having a good day today. Um, I wasn't planning to do this kind of video today. Um, I don't suppose many people do plan to do these kind of videos. I was going to do a video where I was going to add another radiator into my other computer, which is just here. I'll show you that in a minute. But something stopped me from doing that. Um, I'm using the Alpha Cool radiator you know the alpha cool modular i is, is it ice ice bear 360 aoi and um as i was undoing the quick release connectors one of them totally fell apart in my hands now lucky for me the computer was totally powered down and um this spring came flying out. There was something else in there. I think it's like a stop valve or something like that. You know, there's one inside. You normally see it inside there. And, um, yeah, that went flying out. The spring went flying out. And um, also, dark red coolant went flying out everywhere. Now, although my computer wasn't powered on, it was in standby mode. And, um, yeah, and it just shorted out straight away. It just went dead. This was a brand new motherboard, X470 ASUS ROG X470 Gaming F motherboard with a 2600 inside it. I've got, I've got an RX 480 inside it as well, Strix RX 480. And um, coolant just went everywhere, absolutely everywhere because the pump head, it's got a little short hose coming out of it. And then this, and it's got a really, really tight bend and um, way too tight and... Um, there's just nothing you can do about that, you know, it's because of the length of the little short piece of hose and it was putting a lot of tension on this and this wasn't extra tight, I mean, you know, it could be undone. Oh. And this is what happened. This wasn't over tightened. It's just that it's a bit of a guessing game sometimes, which way to unscrew. And I went slightly the wrong way. And the whole thing just exploded both ends so i don't even know if i've done it the wrong way because both ends went at the same time so i changed it out so lucky for me some might say lucky i had a spare one this one i put that on and guess what did the exact same thing and this i was making sure i wasn't making the same mistake it was orientated the correct way i mean i had it on just put it on and the thing just came apart in my hands. Now both of these have been undone and redone quite a few times. And of course, you know, um, I've also got um, a graphic card block, the GPXN M12 for my 1080. So that's been added to the loop and, you know, I've changed the coolant a few times and I've undone these and refastened them loads of times. I'm always careful. To, to take in mind that it's plastic and you're not to over tighten and this and other and um but yeah yesterday it fell it, i mean it fell apart and um put coolant everywhere all over my motherboard you know the radiator you know just above there and it just comes squirting out of this little hose it'll come it'll come out of two different ways you know i don't know where you know to to look first and um I freaked out a little bit because you know as far as i was concerned i just broke the aoi so that one's a fair pound out of swanny to you know sort of and then i just killed the motherboard just killed my graphic card and possibly it ran you know what i mean because there was a bit of you know splash residue that went over there you know what i mean and yeah i was in total meltdown to tell you the truth and um i was in no mood for doing a video about that at the time you know, if you ever wanted to see a grown man cry, that would have been, that would have been the time. So, I walked away from it for about an hour, maybe two hours. I just couldn't face it. I just, uh, I, you know, just laid the computer down on its side. Just put a load of toilet paper inside the holes, just to stop coolant coming out. Just came away from it and just left it and just you know to think about what i'm going to do next so spoke to my partner and that and says well you know you've been through this kind of thing before 
you know, coolant and stuff like that, all the things. Just see if you can clean it up and get it working again. So I went and got loads of tissues. Started cleaning up because by this point, you know what I mean? Because it squirted out and it just all run down to the power supply, absolutely everything. Luckily, the power supply was upside down, you know, with the fan pointing downwards. So it just went all, all over the top of it that didn't go inside it. And um, so I got it all cleaned out. Got my cotton wool buds out, loads of toilet tissues, and just started cleaning up. Um, luckily, I had two brand new cans of compressed air. And started squirting away in between our components and that and just getting all the little bits out of the nooks and crannies and using the cotton wool buds to dab it all up and then the motherboard now it's it, it's stained like mad no i'm gonna have to clean that off later on do some of the yes tech loving technique probably you probably just pour you know isopropyl alcohol over the top of it and just give it a good clean and uh lucky for me I got it all working. It just shot everything, you know, it just shot it out. It took me ages, you know, turning it on, nothing, and, you know, just squirting place and just locating little bits of red fluid from in between the components. And every time it won't turn on, it was just sickening. I mean, I really thought I just lost, you know, a really good computer and a lot of expensive parts. And um, I don't think half a call would have been replacing any of them. You know, I mean, it's not their fault, you know what I mean? But they're making these quite, they're making these tiny components. And the thing is, well, this is one that's got the spring missing, that's there in my hand. Thing is, well, that little thread there, that little plastic thread is all that's got to hold on to. Now, I think they use a bit of glue in there, something. But that's where it broke. You know what I mean? It's like, why was this bit? This great big wheel was really, really stiff. It wasn't double threaded, but you know, when you put it on there and you leave it for ages, you know, like I did, I couldn't take it off. You, you, it's, no, it's not much to grab hold of in there. You know what I mean? You try to be careful because it's, you know, it's a little tight kink there, you know, not a kink in the, the tubing, but you know, it's a tight bend from the pump head to this. And, you know, you try to get it undone and, it's a, and it just broke away from there at that point. And that's not a lot of thread. That's not a lot of, you know, for it to grab hold of really and to stay there. You know, I did find little bits of, you know, this clay stuff. So they did use some kind of, you know, sealer around there. Probably, so I don't know. So, you know, to waterproof it. I don't think, you know, to glue it on, but to waterproof it. But that's where it broke and that's where the other one broke as well in the exact same place. And, um, yeah, and coolant just went flying everywhere. First time anything like that's ever happened to me, and um, I had to rethink my strategy. What I'm going to do now? I'm going to, you know, use alpha cool radiators, AOIs. Yeah, I probably will do. But what I'm going to suggest to people that if you ever buy an ice bear, ice bear cooler, that you replace these plastic quick release fittings as soon as possible. And um, get some brass ones. And they're going to be much better at protecting your PC from liquid. They're not going to protect, you know, they're not going to fit, not going to fail because the brass ones have got things, these, instead of screwing them, you pull them back. And I wish these would have been sort of like a similar thing if they could have done it, you know, like a pullback thing. I mean, where they, you know, can just pull it apart. So, yeah, that's just all I wanted to tell you about these today. And um, I'll show you the computer now. And, uh, got covered in coolant, and like I say, I managed to get it back working after hours and hours and hours of cleaning and squirting and spraying air everywhere and just finding out everywhere. Because all it was, the coolant was just causing short outs. And you know, when the mud was shorted out, nothing would light up, no lighting, no nothing. I wasn't even getting the graphic card light to power on, you know what I mean? I, I really thought everything was dead. Um, this is it, I'll just turn around. Yeah, this computer here, this is the one, and I've, I've had to put the stock cooler back on, the, this is the stock cooler that's on there now, it's the one that comes with the 2700X, that's in my other computer here, and um, it looks alright, it does a good job at cooling, 
And as you can see, uh, I've got the Corsair Ventures Pro RGB in there, RAM. I've got some LL fans in there as well. Um, let you have a look, look up in there. Yeah, got it, all, got it all up and running. I've got a monitor just down here for it, but it's just not plugged up at the moment because um, is it where? Because normally I just keep. I had the monitor on here, and you know, I've got a keyboard up and I've got a computer there. And um, once I got it powered up, I just put all the fans on full boost. Had the front door open, had the roof off, and just let loads of air pass through there, and just make sure everything was properly dried out and. Um, I mean, there's still covers with some residue left in there somewhere. I don't know, but if there is, it's not in an important and vital place. But I'm pretty sure down the basement of the computer, because I haven't taken the bottom off yet, that's going to be full of red coolant. And um, that's my next step. I'm going to get inside there and get it sorted out and um, get it all cleaned up properly. And most likely what I am going to do is, is sort of disassemble this computer and go through every sort then totally disassemble every single component that I can possibly disassemble, like the graphic card, because the graphic card, the RX 48 on there, it's got the um, the Kraken G12 bracket on there, and um, the radiator that's cool, the cooler that's cooling is the X X62 with a 280 millimeter radiator on there, so that's you know keeping that graphic card really nice and cool. Can you hear that stock cool? I find it so loud. Uh, I'll have to um, get it to the computer, access it, and then sort that out. But yeah, as you can see, it's all up and running, working. And um, this was, you know, my sort of like test bed computer, you know, where, that I tested things out on. I think my next move now is actually buy a proper testing platform. Maybe you can suggest one for me that's a good price, you know, about 100 to 150 pound. So I can sort of, you know, put a motherboard on there straight away, change the cooler out straight away. I would like one that could take a radiator and stuff like that. And um, yeah, make life a little bit easier and avoid disasters like this from happening but I'm glad it's all okay and nothing's broken oh and um, yeah like I said I'm just going to totally disassemble it take everything off take everything out and just check everything over and make sure there's no more, no more red coolant anywhere just waiting to sort something out really that's all I wanted to speak on this matter so thanks for watching and um, I hope the next, next video is a little bit better Thank you a lot. Bye-bye.